King's Indian Defense, 3.NF3BG74.G3D65.BG2006.00. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. c4 has control over the crucial d5 square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is the final book action. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a chance to expose an assault on a knight. It is incorrect. There is a better way to protect a knight who is being attacked than this. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. The knight is now sufficiently protected. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By assaulting the opposing queen, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a blunder. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. A pawn is therefore exposed to being captured. It is incorrect. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a miss. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. This misses a chance to imply that gaining a knight is possible. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. As a result, a knight who was in danger of gaining material is now gone. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. 
it is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is quite good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This overlooks a better way to block a check from the opposing bishop. It is a mistake. Now that white has lost their winning advantage, the score is about even. It falls flat. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. This exchange is fair. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is quite good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. That's good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. That pawn was available for free. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. 